Well, hey there, everyone, and welcome to Tiny Room Studios Tuesday Night Singer Songwriter Spotlight. My name is Mo Corbett, and I am your host this evening. So excited for tonight's performance. We have Leah Ashton here in studio. Uh, if you've never tuned in, please sit back, relax, enjoy. We'll have a full set from Leah, and then her and I will sit down and we'll have a chat. So, yeah, without further ado, Leah Ashton. I'm a late bloomer Like daisies in July I'll show up But never on time I'm a late bloomer Like jasmine in the spring I wait a little too long To let you hear me sing I'm a late bloomer Should have been here sooner, oh, oh. I'm a late bloomer, like dahlias in the fall. It'll happen on delay, if it happens at all. I'm a late bloomer. Like violets in October It seems like I just got here But I'm only getting older oh, I'm a late bloomer I'm a, I'm a late bloomer Oh, should have been here sooner Oh, oh When I get it, I really get it But it, it takes it takes a minute, it takes a minute When I get it, I really get it But it, it takes a minute, it takes a minute Better late than in the snow I listen to you tell me what I already know I'm a late bloomer right place at the wrong time Cinderella's got till midnight but I'll be there at 11.59 oh I'm a late bloomer I'm a I'm a late bloomer oh should have been here sooner oh, oh, oh. I'm a late bloomer oh, oh, oh. I should have been here sooner oh, oh. Better late than Right, thank you. Hi, everybody. My name is Leah Ashton. I'm so happy to be here at Tiny Room Studios. Um, I just came out with an album early last month at the beginning of September. It's called Late Bloomer. That was the title track from that. Um, so I'm going to be playing songs from the album tonight. And this next one, um, I think, has several layers of meaning and different people kind of interpret it in different ways. But my favorite description of this song comes from a good friend of mine who calls this next one an ode to mansplaining. I wonder what it's like to finish a sentence. I wonder what it's like to finish a phrase. I wonder what it's like to finish my two cents I wonder what it's like to not have to explain 
are you listening? Can you hear me? Shut your mouth and open up your mind. Maybe you will find that the world doesn't revolve around you. Step on out and take a look inside it. Might be time to try to shut your mouth and open up your mind. I wonder what it's like to not hold your hand I wonder what it's like to not hold the spoon up for you Oh, for you Oh, what would it be like to not hear suggestions? What would it be like to not hear demands? Oh, what would it be like to be heard the way I want to? I want to If you're listening You could have fooled me Shut your mouth Open up your mind Maybe you will find that the world doesn't revolve around you Step on out and take a look inside it Might be time to try to shut your mouth and open up your mind to mean something do you know what it's like to say nothing at all do you know what it's like to not interrupt me do you know what it's like to not speak with authority about something that you really Open up your mind Maybe you will find that the world Doesn't revolve around you, baby Step on out and Take a look inside it Might be time to try to Shut your mouth and open up your mind All right, thank you. Okay, we're gonna go on a little journey. Um, I know there are folks tuning in from anywhere and everywhere, um, but we're here in Los Angeles, and that's where I've lived for the last 12 years. Um, I'm originally from the Midwest, but I've lived here in LA for quite some time. And um, the city can be a crazy place. It's a wonderful place, and I love it here. And I'm so glad to live here and know the people that I know um, and get to do the things that I do that I wouldn't be able to do if I lived somewhere else. But um, it can be a funny place, so I'm gonna sing about that. <laughs> this is called Around Here. <laughs> Around here, rejection is as common as a sunburn. Around here, it's always who you know and never what you've learned. Around here, if the September heat don't kill you, then a cold shoulder will. Around here, the sunshine comes with quite a hefty price tag. Around here, you can measure life by hours on the highway. Around here, if the fake in it don't kill you, then the real estate will. But in the city of angels, I have faced my demons. And in the miles of traffic, I have found my freedom. Between the hills and the valley, 
have discovered reasons for all this here in Los Angeles. Around here, you might assume that everybody's famous. Around here, we could sell our souls and nobody would blame us. Around here, if the industry don't kill you, then your expectations will. But in the city of angels, I have faced my demons. And in the miles of traffic, I have found my freedom. Between the hills and the valley, I have discovered reasons for all this here in Los Angeles cuz I found magic in the mountains and shelter under palm trees I found it's better to take fountain and Pacific waves can wash you clean I fell in love with sunsets that fill up the western sky still my favorite place is sunset on the east side of town Cause in the city of angels I have faced my demons In the miles of traffic I have found my freedom Between the hills and the valley I have discovered reasons for all this Oh, cause in the city of angels, I have faced my demons. And in the miles of traffic, I have found my freedom. Between the hills and the valley, I have discovered reasons for all this here in Los Angeles. Thank you. That's my ode to LA. Um, and then from LA, we are going to continue to travel across the country to one of my favorite cities in the country, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, I've only actually visited New Orleans once, but um, I've always just loved the music that comes from there and the culture. And the one visit that I did pay to New Orleans was just such a special one. Um, so. I think many, many songwriters, many artists were inspired by places just as much as we're inspired by feelings or people or, or events in our lives. Um, so I'm very inspired by, by places, hence the song about LA and hence a song here about New Orleans. been chasing gray skies and I need to get out of here all these storms have been clouding my view I think all I really need to cure me of my blues is a Sazerac and a little of you so I'll bring the melody, you bring the beat, and meet me in New Orleans. You'll stroll by the river. Or hop on a pedicab Then take the St. Charles just for the view I'll form my own parade Two basin street blues 
waves or just join a second line on my way to you. So I'll bring the melody, you bring the beat, and meet me in New In the Marigny, along Royal Street, take a wander into Mimi's. But if you can't find me, you bet I'll be neath the tree with the beads. Oh. Thank you. So um, a lot of the songs from this album, Late Bloomer, that I'm playing songs from, that I'm sure Mo and I will talk about in a little bit when I'm done with some songs here. Um, a lot of the album was written during the pandemic. And you know, not only were we dealing uh, with a global pandemic, but our country was dealing with a lot of hate and division and just so much, um, so many systems of power were rearing their ugly heads and proving that uh, it wasn't just a matter of bad apples in the bunch, but that we were dealing with um, some really rotten systems. So uh, I think a lot of us songwriters uh, during the pandemic, songwriting and music making was an outlet. Um, but there was so much heaviness, and like I was saying, like hate and division in the world that that had to come out in song some way. So um, these next couple songs are about that. A little bit heavier, but it's stuff that needed to be sung about. And I think, I'm, I, I know I'm not the only one. There's all kinds of songs and albums uh, where this, where, where music has been an outlet for this stuff. So um, this is called Faded Stars and Stripes. I've been looking for answers on how we wound But you take a deep dive down through history, honey, and you find some reasons there. Well, we say that we're united while we hold on by a thread. When will we realize it's not left versus right? It's darkness versus the light. It's truth against the lies if we could recognize the hate that we've justified give love the chance to thrive and heal this great divide oh these faded stars and stripes been noticed 
missing somehow A face that's white gets to stay alive But oh, if yours has got more melanin You've got to hold on just to survive Well, we say that we're united right it's darkness first the light it's truth against the lies if we could recognize the hate that we've justified give love the chance to thrive and heal this great divide oh these faded stars and stripes shattered seams and make them all worth the fight I still believe we can take all these shattered dreams and bring them back toward the light I still believe we can take these unraveled seams and make them all worth the fight I still believe we can take all these tattered seams and bring them back toward the light. Oh, oh, oh when will we realize that it's not left versus right? It's darkness versus the light. It's truth against the lies. If we could recognize the hate that justified give love the chance to thrive and heal this great divide oh these faded stars and stripes thank you She reached into the barrel To find something to fill her up Turns out that she was looking down the barrel Of a loaded gun The only thing that she asked for was some fruit to keep her fed but somehow they say that what she asked for was to get filled up with lead well the trees are filled with poison cause it seeps up from the ground when the orchard has gone rotten You've got to burn the whole thing down Burn it down Burn it down When the orchard has gone Rotten. You've got to burn the whole thing down It seemed like such a simple goal Just to keep the doctor away But now it seems like the bushel's been spoiled and we're stuck with the decay While the trees are filled with poison Cause
as it seeps up from the ground when the orchard has gone rotten you've got to burn the whole thing down burn it down burn it down when the orchard You've got to burn the whole thing down Dare I hope there's a better plan On this land for the masses From these ashes When the trees are filled with poison Cause it seeps up from the ground When the orchard has gone rotten You've got to burn the whole thing down Got to burn the whole thing down. Thank you. All right, so after some dark and heavy stuff. Um, we always have to cling to the glimmer of hope that I think, you know, maybe it's not always, we're not always able to find a glimmer of hope, but the attempt to find that glimmer of hope and to hang on to it, to um, just try to see the light at the end of the tunnel and aim for that. Um, and so, after the, the heaviness, the darkness, I'm gonna close us out on something a little bit more uplifting. Um, power through the dark times, power through the heavy stuff, the tough stuff, and, uh, and don't back down from what scares you. So this is my last song. Thank you again, Tiny Room Studios, for having me. Um, after the song, Mo and I are gonna have a chat, so stick around. Um, this song is called Not Backing Down. Sweat on that last one. <laughs> I've been at this for years. You might not see it clear, but I've still been here. I fought through every tear so you wouldn't see the fear. And it all brought me here But my time won't be wasted No, no I will take this fear and face it I beg my heart to keep beating Saying please don't fail me now I have to keep on believing This alone Down, 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 no, oh, no, I'm not backing down. I had some dues to pay and games I tried to play, learned the hard way. 
But I learned from my mistakes On this path I chose to take And it's here I still remain Oh, and my time won't be wasted No, no I will take this dream and chase it I beg my heart to keep beating Saying please don't fail me now I have to keep on believing This will all turn out somehow Cause I'm not backing down, down All right, thank you so much. I'm gonna chat with Mo. We'll be right back. Thank you.
Hey everyone, welcome back. I am sitting here with Leah Ashton after her fantastic performance. Leah, thanks so much for being here at the studio with us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. That was so much fun. I, I actually don't, uh, I haven't ever done that, that long of a set with those songs by myself. No way. I normally have somebody else playing with me or for me so I can just sing. So... Gosh, I didn't lucky. say that beforehand. Oh, we're so lucky that we, we got to have that. So uh, congratulations to me and to you for, for Leah's first performance of that, of that length and, and with those songs. So you had an album come out in September. Yeah, September 9th. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, let's talk about it. Yeah. Uh, it's called Late Bloomer. Came out September 9th. Um, it's 11 or no, it's 10 original songs and a cover of, um, a black keys song, tighten up. Uh, the black keys are from my hometown of Akron, Ohio. So a little nod to the three, three Oh, um, so there's 12 tracks, 11 songs with a little intro. Um, yeah. And it was like a year and a half, two year plus process of making, um, totally independently done. Um, I produced it myself along with a friend of mine, Jonah Levine. He's a musician who is in LA, he plays around town. Uh, my husband, who's a saxophone player, also helped produce it. Um, and we got to collaborate with amazing local musicians and um, very different from that performance in that there's a full band, there's a horn section, there's strings, there's uh vocals big gang vocals and i mean there's there's it's a whole thing so that's why i felt kind of fun and crazy to do the solo version of things because i don't do that often so that that was going to be my question is is how did it feel to do a strip back version but you said fun so fun yeah i mean a little nerve-wracking because it's all on me <laughs> and i yeah. can't just you know rely on somebody else to worry about how the songs go but um i mean really i guess the last time i did the songs like that it was making the demos for the songs that ended up you know becoming then the album version so it was fun wow pretty like full circle in a way i wonder yeah, yeah. what it would be like to go back and listen to the demos and then listen to tonight's performance um and yeah. just to sort of hear them stripped back but that would be on really the beginning end and then you know after album came out so you mentioned you you produced the album uh had you been producing before is this the first album you'd, you've done work like that on I um I've in my early 20s I released a couple EPs um one was through a small indie label and I didn't really do any producing there um the second one I released independently in it was 2010 and I worked alongside a producer engineer who helped me you know just kind of bring the songs to life so um, with this album, with Late Bloomer, um, Jonah and I really, I brought him demos and then he took those demos and helped build them into something more that we then took the, to the band, which then, you know, became the, the, the full thing. So, um, it was very collaborative. I don't, f um, I've never really like produced anything necessarily myself or for other artists, but, um, it was just a really, and then my husband, Eric, um, like bounce so much bouncing ideas off of you know each other and and so it was, it was very collaborative it wasn't just on me I guess you you mentioned that you wrote a lot of these during the pandemic so so a lot of your working together Mel I imagine obviously you're working with your husband you you live with him so so that's where you <laughs> that got I to do. collaborate there but were you collaborating mostly um virtually was it together were you in studio what was that process like during pandemic right um so the um, I don't know why that <laughs> long pause to think about what I'm saying here. Um, it was both. It was both. Um, a lot of the demo making was done virtually, uh, on, you know, on FaceTime or, or zoom or whatever, um, pulling up shared screens so that we could kind of see what's going on. Um, and then there were moments, um, like in the, we we did go to the studio to record everything uh live uh with you know with live players in studio um 
So we were careful about that and, and how we approached it. And um, initially I had scheduled studio time for March of 2020. And obviously that didn't happen. So there was some recording later on in 2020 when, you know, we had all kind of like figured out how to mask up and space out and, you know, do things a little more safely. And then the rest of the album was then recorded um, in the studio at the, towards the... Um, the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022. So both, it was, it was definitely a, a, a balancing of like, okay, how do we get a full band, a live band sound, you know, and do things safely and be smart about this. And so there was a lot of. Yeah. So, so as, as we're coming out of like this, um, oh, I wanted to say hunker down or quarantine, but it's so Aww. Leslie Jordan that has me has me there. So sorry to so sorry to go there for a second. Um, we love you, Leslie. Ha. Huh. Uh, coming out of intense quarantine, your some of your first experiences back with people was working on your own music, yeah. whereas prior to that quarantine, you'd been doing a majority of your music work on other people's like back, you know, doing background vocals or teaching vocal lessons or piano lessons. And, um, that must have been so, um, well, I don't know. What was that like? What was it like to have your first interactions post quarantine be with artists working on your music? I mean, it was amazing. And I felt so fortunate that, um, not only did I get to, play with these people, uh, you know, period, but that it was on my music and that they would be willing to contribute their talent, um, and their time and, and, you know, mask up and go into a a space and do that for my music. I mean, it's, I feel very, very fortunate. And that's been part of what has made this process so special and fun is all the people that I've got to be involved in the project. It's some of my favorite folks in LA, my favorite musicians and just all around, like, awesome people. So really special. And, you know, looking back now that it's out and that we've come to this point, it's just crazy that that's what the last two years was, you know, it was, it was definitely a, like a, a bright spot during a very, very dark time for all of us. Um, so I feel very fortunate that I have music as an outlet and that this album still was able to, to happen during that time. Yeah, and a lot of people moved out of Los Angeles during that time, especially people working in the arts. And so for you to kind of, I don't want to say stick it through, but to to stay here in it um, and really push through, you you wanted to pursue your own projects. You, You said you booked that studio time March 2020, and then rather than taking it as a sign of like, oh, well, the universe doesn't want me to uh, do this myself, you said oh no, this is just more time for me to really, really focus on my own art and come out stronger on the other side of it. Here's a whole full length album yeah. world. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Thank that's, you. that's, Thank you. that's really, really awesome. Thank you. So do you have shows coming up? Where can people hear your music? Yes. Uh, my next show is in Los Angeles, November 30th. It's a breaking sound show at break room 86 in Koreatown, November 30th. Did I say that? November 30th, 7 PM. Um, there will be a a band involved. (laughs) It won't just be me. (laughs) Um, so the last, we did a, we did a big, um, album release show, uh, towards the end of September. And it was really special because I got to have the full band and the horns and the vocals. And, you know, it wasn't quite everybody that was on the album um, because we all would not have fit on one stage at that venue. But um, so and that was such a blast. And uh, I'm like, oh, my gosh, we got to do this again. So it will be a slightly scaled down version of that because it's a smaller space. But um, I'm excited to to play the songs with the band again and in front of an audience, in front of people who haven't heard the music before. So um, November 30th, if you're in LA, Breaking Sound at Break Room 86. <laughs> fantastic. That's so fantastic. Breaking Sound's awesome. And, and Yes, I haven't done one of their shows yet, so I'm really excited. Oh, November 30th. That sounds yes. great. So you have a full link album out. There's EPs out. These are on all the streaming platforms. You've got a show coming up. Yes. Um, 
I'm, I'm so excited for you. It's been so great to have yeah. you here to Thank listen you. to your music. I, I feel so lucky. I got to hear the first stripped down version after the album release. And, um, I just, uh, uh, yeah, I'm rooting for you here. Thank and it's you. been such a pleasure having you Thank at you. Tiny Thank Room. Thank you for having me. This has of been really course. fun. So everyone, yeah, this is Leah Ashton here. Um, and I also want to say, along with her show that she has on November 30th, she has merch. Yes. And you can get this gorgeous vinyl. Um, let me just. This is like real talk show. You can find right this. Um, okay, go to Leah's Instagram, um, which is Leah Ashton Music, um, spelt as you see it here on this album. Um, and you can get all sorts of, there's beautiful t-shirts, there's vinyl records, and also on that Instagram, you can keep up with her. You can keep up with her music, you can find out about new shows, you can find out about new projects, different collaborations that are happening. Um, yeah, so check that out. Um, once again, Leah Ashton, thanks for watching. This is Mo Corbett at Tiny Room Studios. Tune in next week for our weekly singer-songwriter spotlight. Thanks so much.